Hi, I'm Anita Lovers. Um, I just wanted to make a video to talk a little bit about how Amanita can really alter the path of our creativity and our, our life service, our dharma, and talk about my journey with creativity specifically and Amanita. Um, so I've always played guitar since I was about 14, um, sort of on and off over the years and you know as I progressed as a guitarist um, in the last sort of six years have been playing more diligently and when I connected to Amanita probably about four years ago now um, something just really lifted up like it took off um, and um, I was working through with microdosing for Amanita and um, I'd gone through this like deep three week process where it was like a kind of dieta where I'd really cleared my my diary and my and my diet so that I could just purely connect with um, Amanita for three weeks solidly. And at the end of this process, um, a song just tumbled out of me. Um, the only way that I can kind of describe it is it's almost as if the song was in existence like in the ether and I just had to be the one to catch it, to learn it, to learn how to play it and to learn how to sing it. Um, and it was just so perfect and complete, it just felt like this download. And I you know, shared it with some people in the Amanita community and one person said to me, Elle, you should record that. And I think that's the first time anybody had ever said that to me, you know, that um, my song was worth uh, recording because one of the programs that Amanita was helping me to work through was this like childhood program of like not being enough. Um, which I feel had come in from my father in particular. Um, he was very encouraging, but almost to the point where he was a bit on the pushy side. Um, you know, whenever I'd like show anything that I'd created or done, he'd always be like, oh, you know, there's room for improvement. You could have done this better. And, you know, being just a sensitive little one, and, and I still feel very sensitive now, um, you know, all I wanted was to be celebrated and seen um, for what I had created, not to told, not to be told that you know there's something beyond this that you could have done. Um, and so I, I believe that it, something in my psyche shut down that part of myself um, and turned that into a belief, a distorted belief that you know I wasn't good enough. But thankfully, um, this encouragement came, you know, I feel like that again was just Amanita speaking through someone else to me to go and record Amanita Rise. Um, and if you haven't heard it, um, here's a little clip. And this song has now been listened to by a, yeah, a great number in the community and I've had so much wonderful feedback. Um, but then the ball just started rolling and you know, every time since I've worked you know, more with Amanita and Microdose, more song has come. Um, I, I mean, I am a herbalist by profession and so I've kind of been put onto this path of kind of singing about different plants. So I've also made songs in a similar way that I've just described by working really deeply with a, a particular plant. So for example, I've also recorded songs for mugwort and rose, but whenever I come back to Amanita, it's just easy. It's just there. It's, um, it's like she's kind of put me on this particular path, which is like this very interesting combination of plants and music and the two seem to be very much going hand in hand for me um, and these yeah these are these feel like the songs of this particular plant or mushroom in this case um, and home is an, is the most recent song and I can see how much I progressed as a musician in the last two years since recording Amanita Rise um, and home also um, you know mentions breaking out of this childhood pattern 
here's another clip. Once in my childhood were holding me back And my need to say that's enough of that Stripped back to essence and a deep impact She helped me home Hard to guide along We walk this long path of home Oh, the path that made me strong With my heart to guide along I walk this long path of home And so I feel so grateful to Amanita uh, for helping all of this creativity to just pour out of me. Um, I mean, I would say, you know, if you know any musicians who are stuck and struggling and who are trying to activate, you know, getting song out there, my suggestion would be work with Amanita because it just seems to put you on a fast track, um, whatever you're doing. I know so many people in this group are doing so many different wonderful things um, and this is just my particular skill set and dharma kind of coming out. Um, and I really, yeah, I really feel like that's how she's helping me to evolve um, to be this songstress for her, uh, which I'm very grateful to do. So gratitude, Amanita, gratitude to you all, and thanks for the support and love.